Hi everyone, I'm Ricky from ShareSight. Today we'll talk about the historical cost report. This report gives you a breakdown on how your holding cost base changes over a period of time. You can look at the historical cost report by clicking on the reports tab from the overview page. Scroll down and the report is under the tax and compliance section. Click run report. Select a date range to refresh the report. There is also the options to export this report as a Google Sheet, PDF, or Excel. Here are four things that you can do with this report. The first one is about financial year and tax reporting. If you have a self-managed super fund, a trust account such as an ISA, a family trust, or a company trust, it is a requirement to report the market value of shares at the beginning and the end of the year. You can get this information by setting the report to the required financial year. The opening market value column shows the asset value on the day before the start date and the closing market value columns shows the asset value as at the end date. If you live in countries where ShareSite doesn't provide a capital gains tax report, and also use this report in conjunction with the sole securities report to work out your capital gains. Run the report on a specific financial year. Sort by cost of sales column. That column tells you if you have sold any shares during that period. The sum for the opening balance amount and purchases amount is the total cost base. The capital gains amount is the difference between this amount and the sale value in the sole securities report. Because the historical cost report shows all assets on a cost basis, it can also be used to prepare financial statements such as the balance sheet. You can use this report for bank accounts reconciliations by cross-verifying transactions against the costs associated with those assets to identify any discrepancies in the financial records. Lastly, this report also tells you how much capital you have invested over a period of time. Understanding where you invest your money provides a clear picture of your financial strategy and whether your investment choices aligns with your overall financial goals and priorities. If I run the report for the current calendar year, it shows that just over 90,000 has been invested during this period and almost half of that went into an ETF and the other half was split between Nike and CSL shares. There you have it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us below or reach us via our website. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow us on our social media at ShareSite for more updates. See you all in the next video. Bye.